So while we're getting set up, um, we're, we're going to switch out a couple startups. Uh, the next one we have presenting is Inspirient. Um, our modern technology has created so much data, but not enough time. Can we extend time? Peter Thiel seems to think so, at least in terms of human longevity. But um, Inspirian is trying to solve the problem that we can better benefit from what time we do have and putting it to good use. Um, this startup will do exactly that. It translates the key insights derived from your company's data so that work time is 90% more effective. This means that companies can focus less on data and, more, and invest more energy into delivering results. So thank you very much for the kind introduction. My name is George Wittenberg. Um, I'd like to talk today very, very briefly about discovery. So discovery as a topic is enticing because there are so many happy accidents that happens when you just go out there. Like, no, you go out there and try to discover India, but you discover America. Or a apple falls on your head and you discover physics. Or uh, you leave your Petri dish somewhere in the lab and you discover antibiotics. And that's, that's so intriguing that we at Inspirin, we are asking the question, so how can we replicate this discovery in the digital world? How can we leave a like, digital Petri dish somewhere and then just something miraculous happens? How do we get into the unknown? And no, it's not that you build your discovery ships out of blocks, but it's rather a question of thinking about, hey, there's a whole digital landscape out there that's kind of waiting for you to find the most interesting things out of it. And this is built out of data, of course. Right? So the question is, in this digital landscape, where are exactly the points that you should care about? Where are the, the sites, the interesting bits? Right? So we are saying at Inspirient, discovery is really the discovery of new insights in the landscape of your data. And that's only half the truth, because as you would know, you know Everyone who's heard big data knows that this landscape is so huge that you can't possibly navigate it as a person. So here's the twist. This is the automated discovery of new insights in the landscape of your data, and this is what we're doing at Inspirient. Uh, at Inspirient, we're building an artificial intelligence that can ingest business data sets, tables, the things that you guys got in your inboxes as your Excel sheets, and will automatically scan that data for things that could be interesting for you, so you can actually think about results rather than busy yourselves with doing the analysis and the pivots and all the things that just waste your time. And since this is a demo, I'm actually going to show this to you. Um, so um, I, I was thinking hard and long about what could be a very valuable uh, example, and this is the most valuable example that I could find. This is the data set from the US American Environmental, Environmental Protection Agency in which they tested a couple of vehicles for emissions two years ago, three years ago, right? And so a well-known German automaker is right now putting some $18 billion aside for saying, okay, let's deal with the fact that we didn't know that we were kind of the outlier in this. So wh what you can do with Inspirience um, is that you basically, um, you can take that data set You can upload it into our system, say, start the analysis of this, and then, depending on the size of the data, like the IA will go to work, after some, and I preloaded this, 45 minutes, you get something like this. So this is a selection of presentation slides that the AI generated directly based on the data. And I'm going to go directly to slide number four of these results, which the AI did automatically for me, and this is CO2 emissions over NOx, and the point up here is Volkswagen, right? And you, know, you don't have to be a data scientist, and you don't have to be a chemist to know that you don't want to be that point, right? And what, what we do as part of our AI is that we recommend other insights that might be valuable to you. So I go to the recommended insights down here at the bottom right, and we say, hey, you know, these are the top 10 outliers on the previous slides. Like, you know, if you have in correlation, you might be interested, like, you know, what are the other outliers? Say, hey, top 10, Volkswagen, Volkswagen, Volkswagen. At that point in time, you know, if you're Martin Winterkorn, you do something, right? And this is the value that we provide. Um, we do this in a very, very generic way. So just to 
do this very quickly. Um, this year, uh, this year, this is the data set of the, the, uh, the Fukushima nuclear power plant of the sensor data. Right? And so we can put this data set into our system and without doing anything else, it will generate the analysis, making sense of the data and saying, wow, you know, that's the point in time when your power plant was blowing up. Right? Or uh, to make it a bit more applied to something that companies would want to do every day, um, uh, this here's a data set from DB Schenker when they're shipping containers around the world. And we can put that into our system, not ask any questions, but just say, hey, let's make sense of that data. Here are the slides that the system produces automatically. And for instance, what you get is, well, you don't see the continents right now, but this is basically America on the one side, and this is Eurasia on the other side. This is the trip that your container takes through the world, and you kind of see where the temperature has been rising slightly off that, right? So this is something as a logistics company that you care about because you don't want to have your goods get hot, right? Um, so you got a topic of automation in here. Stuff is happening automatically to your data, and you, you, get, to, uh, you get to think about results rather than to think about um, analytics. So, you know, you got the obvious stuff of time and cost saving in here, right? But what I find most, most interesting in the context of artificial intelligence is that AI thinks differently than you, right? So let's, let's reflect on, upon this. As a human, you got a certain knowledge about your business and you got a certain intuition of what might be relevant for your business. But AI thinks differently. AI can scale to great data sets. So for everything else that is in your data, our AI will bring that to your attention and you can think about that. And then, you know, if we had been around maybe four years ago and say, hey, Martin, Wintercorn, there's something in that data, maybe you want to have an intuition and an idea about doing something, you know, maybe save fewer $18 billion. So, um, great thing about Inspiring this, you can actually try it. There's someone, someone from my team over here um, so if you want to have a test drive of this yourself right here, talk to these guys over here and you can just actually browse around in someone else's data if you'd like to. And other than that, thank you so very much for, for your attention. Happy to answer any questions you may have. Does anyone from the audience have a quick question? We only, he will, only has time to take one today because he has another meeting after. Yes, you have the microphone, so go ahead. Yeah, it's a competitive advantage to have the mic. Um, mm -hmm. Can you talk about how clean the data has to be in order for you to pr produce these slides? Yeah, so that's actually a great question, right? Because in the general like, realm of business analytics, you have this problem of data cleansing and you need clean data to run your algorithms. That is because you have different tools in the production chain of producing slides that you can put on the table of someone. But what we do is we just take imperfect data, say, hey, you know, data is missing, whatnot, and we just add a sticker to the slide and the footnote saying, like, we did this analysis anyway on what data was available to us. And we actually leave it to the business guy in front of the, t in front of the screen or in the meeting to make up his own mind to say, well, is this good enough for my purposes or would I need something better? So actually we kind of sidestep the problem of data cleansing by just saying, if you care about this, maybe clean up your data afterwards. So, okay. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you and, very much. Um, let's give German Auto Labs uh, another try. Let's see if we can get the.